All right, welcome back to KM6LYW Radio, the show about amateur radio or ham radio, reimagining radio in the information age. Hey, today's a great example. There's a new fork of APRS Droid. This is uh, like an Android version of uh, for packet radio, the data side of your radio, so we can do SMS texting and email all over radio. And this is by Michael Phelps. No, not that Michael Phelps. Well, why don't you just... Uh... Go by Mike instead of Michael. No way. What should I change? He's the one who sucks. This is by NA7Q, a great developer. Um, also manages the SMS or APRS relay. So APRS Droid OSM for OpenStreetMap. Let's check it out. This time on KM6 LYW Radio. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. Yeah, we're still getting away with the bumper music. I'm sure that was a repeat, but man, I'm running out of jingles, guys. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's check out APRS Droid OSM by Michael Phelps, NA7Q. Thank you, Michael. So as the name kind of implies, APRS Droid is an Android client uh, for APRS Packet Radio. It'll connect to any TNC, software TNC. It'll connect over APRS.fi over the internet. Um, it'll, it'll operate via Bluetooth. I noticed Bluetooth Low Energy is a new option there. Pretty cool. And the original author, and we really have to thank, is George Lucas, uh, Delta Oscar One Golf Lima. Danke schon, George. Thank you for APRS Droid, and thank you, Michael, uh, for this fork and uh, collaborating on, on this project. So APRS Droid, where do you get it? So you can get Michael's version of this um, at na7q.com. Click on APRS and APRS Droid OSM. You can download the APK here or go to the GitHub repository. Um, lots of cool new features. Um, it's basically the same APRS Droid you know and love today um, with some new features, some new extensions. Um, I think he's got it over here. So this actually has a Digipeter built into it. It'll do eye gating. Um, it has, uh, it'll work with the Vero, the BTEC, the Radiotity, anything that has a, like a Bluetooth TNC. Uh, the Vero radios, the experimental firmwares all have uh, Bluetooth TNC. Totally cool. It'll do compressed uh, mic E and position packets. Um, what else it'll do? DigiRig support is built in. Um, and other under the hood changes, he says. So I'm, I'm kind of interested in what those are. But it is a really cool app. You know, really, APRS Droid is what got me into digital modes for ham radio uh, for a long time now. Yeah, as soon as I figured out you could send like text messages and emails and send text messages to other radios. I mean, this is the data side of most radios, APRS packet radio, and uh, most HTs have it built in. Uh, but APRS Droid makes this really easy so you don't have to type on your radio. And this will work on your phone and connect your radio via TNC. Or if you have a Digipi, it's a shameless plug for the Digipi, digipi.org, you hook that up to any radio and it works with APRS Droid, either over uh, TCP networking or over, uh, over Wi-Fi or over uh, Bluetooth. Um, so the Digipi, uh, that's what you guys are looking at right here on the screen. It's uh, doing APRS duty right now. We are going to connect to it using APRS Droid. So I just downloaded the APK and I installed it and I'm gonna click on it here. Uh, the very first thing you wanna do is set up your, your, your radio. So just go into preferences here, go into connection preferences. Um, you can do TCP or Bluetooth like we said. Right now I've got this connection protocol set to KISS and it's over TCP, so it's, this is over Wi-Fi for the, the DigiPi over here and my Android device, which is what you're looking at here. Um, you want to set up the uh, the server. Right now it just connects to the internet server, but set it, if you have a DigiPi, set it to digipi.local colon 8001, and that's your uh, that's the DigiPi here on the network. And of course you can do Bluetooth. It's totally cool. In fact, I use Bluetooth more often than not. Like if the power goes out, you don't have Wi-Fi, so Bluetooth makes sense, especially if you're in the field or like in your car or something like that. You don't have Wi-Fi necessarily. All right, so that's your connection. Um, this has offline maps. I wanted to mention that. Um, this, um, if you, there is a Python script out there, um, and it'll set up an open. It'll let you download a, a certain a set of tiles from OpenStreetMaps, and this will use that in offline mode. I haven't gotten it to work. Um, of course, I'm using a weird. Um, tablet computer that has an SD card in it um, so the path to the mbyte file isn't clear to me just yet but I'll be honest I haven't I didn't give it that much that much effort because I'm online right now and of course here we are using open street maps um, you can use other maps of course and this is Northern California here I'm about right I don't know where I'm at here I'm right here in the middle and these are all the objects I've been collecting while, while I was setting up for this video here so we can see all the digipeters in the mountains and of course a Paris objects all the way out to San Francisco uh, so this is map view which 
which is fun um, if you want to watch people go back and forth to work. But DigiPie really isn't about uh, you know watching people drive back and forth to work. So I'm going to do start tracking here. And we're going to see the packets rolling in. So this is the log. It looks like I just sent a beacon. We can see that on the DigiPie. And I got repeated here by a repeater called G-Town. So this is just kind of all the traffic that's flying around your radio, your APRS radio, 149.39. Um, of course, in Europe, I think you are 144.8. Um, so, yeah, we're seeing the traffic. It's totally cool. But did you, uh, APRS isn't about watching people drive back and forth to work all the day. It's, to me, it is about messaging. Um, so you can send a short text message to any other radio, um, including uh, some virtual radios out there. One is called SMS. In fact, Michael Phelps put together the SMS virtual relay, which will allow you to send and receive SMS text messages from your radio uh, to one's mobile or cell phone. So there's lots of cool features out there. Um, there it's not just radio to radio. Um, we, we've got this whole physical physical APRS network out there and there's all these bridge points to the internet so basically with your ham radio you could be in the middle of nowhere and have basic uh, internet services like texting and email available to you over APRS and of course APRS droid which we're looking at makes that really easy so the one obligatory one I do all the time is uh, called WX bot um, that's this one here uh, I'll, I'll click on that one. I'm just going to do clear message. Now you can enter like your zip code or it'll use your location. Of course, that hasn't been working lately. So I'll enter like my postal zip code 95614 and hit enter. And you'll notice the uh, radio over here just started transmitting. And you see my call sign. You see the digipeters. I got an acknowledgement for that packet. And it should give me the weather here. And it says, yep, five miles east of Auburn, California. Today, partly sunny. Then a chance of showers, uh, 40%. A high of 53. Yeah, we, we could use the rain. There's a lot of... Uh, fires in Los Angeles right now. All right, so that is messaging and maps. Um, there's it'll, it'll do offline maps again, but I haven't figured that out. I know that's a big feature. Um, I still need to work on that. Um, so of course, there's a lot of virtual radios out there for APRS. I promised myself I wouldn't make this an APRS tutorial, but man, APRS is so cool. So we can actually, you know, click on things, <laughs> objects, stations, see what their traffic's been lately. It's just kind of a cool commands console for all APRS traffic. I don't, in fact, I don't even know what uh, some of this stuff does. I always go straight to messaging, which is pretty cool. But it's cool to see the the log here. You see my traffic with WX bot. You know, it's sending acknowledgments. APRS is a connected protocol, so you send a message, and then an acknowledgment comes back. So you know it was received. Um, unlike some sort of send and pray protocols, uh, which is what you'd normally get, like UDP. All right, so APRS Droid. That's it. Uh, get it from. <clears throat> na7q.com from Michael Phelps. Thank you, Michael. Uh, in na7q, uh, the GitHub repository is here if you want to compile from source. Um, this is written in Scala, I think. Uh, that's way beyond my pay grade, you guys. So uh, honestly, I don't know how to code in this. But I'm, I actually was combing through the source code today just to get an idea how how, how this works. So APRS Droid, totally cool. Thank you, Michael. All right, so uh, this video wouldn't be possible. It wasn't for patrons of the channel. Thank you, guys. Um, the, uh, all the patrons here get access to the DigiPi. I made a little scroller here. I don't know. See if this works. So patreon.com slash km6lyw. There are so many of you. I have to do this insanely fast scroller. I'm sorry. Uh, everyone who gets is a patron of the channel, gets access to the DigiPi SD card image, which is the device you saw over here that we just operated today using Michael's APRS droid. So digipi.org is where you get that for if you're a patron of the channel. Um, of course, this is the web management interface. Um, it's got uh, APRS web chat built in, you know, so you can do, uh, in fact, if you don't have APRS droid for some reason, uh, DigiPi will actually do, um, APRS chat via your web browser. So uh, DigiPi basically turns your radio into a, a website basically on your on your local network and of course it works uh, all over Wi-Fi, it becomes a hotspot. Totally cool. Digipi.org goes to patrons of the channel. Hey, uh, thank you patrons and uh, specifically thank you Michael. I really appreciate the support and your dedication to amateur radio. This has been fantastic. I, I'm just a, such a long time user of APRS Droid. It, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Hey, my name is Craig, amateur radio call sign K M6LYW. I'm in California and I'm clear. <laughs>